Well, folks, you know, I'm always teasing about how, you know, I never mess up and the bees never beat me. But uh, today they have. And uh, there you go. You can see how nice they are. Come out to get the camera like that. Um, but basically, I'll just give you all a little monologue here. What happened was this was the super high bee removal, 35 foot up in the tree, which I guess is not ridiculously high compared to some other jobs I've seen, but highest I've done in a bad location. Um, and the homeowner was, you know, a bit, she was in a hurry, wanting to get this tree trimmed up and couldn't get it trimmed because there's bees in it. So I tried to do it <clears throat> through the winter, which down here in Houston, you know, it doesn't get all that cold. So I was, I was somewhat optimistic that it would work. Um, but long story short, it, so we rigged everything up, uh, probably about two months ago. I know it was in Jan November at least, and now it's the middle of January. And like I said, my hope was that, you know, it would work just because we'd have some warm days in there where they would come out and forage and the forage would get stuck out, but it didn't work. I had my, I had a bait box strapped up here right next to it. You know, I had the cone and everything on just like you guys saw in, in part one where I was setting everything up. Um, but I came back by about a week ago to check on things and they were still in the tree. Uh, you know, I didn't see any flight activity, so I was getting all excited. I got up here and I just blew real heavy in the hole and that CO2 got them agitated and they came boiling out. So still in there and they still are now. Um, but I managed to convince tree guy, the original guy that bid the job and got hit by the bees, managed to convince him to get up here on a cold day and put duct tape over the end of my cone so they couldn't get out and get him. And trim the tree and he did and so with that done i offered the homeowner i said look you know this is dragging on it's taking a long time i said you know i'll give you half off the job basically pay me for the efforts i've made so far the bees are still in the tree but that's fine because you know i've told you guys before if the bees don't have to come out of the tree don't take them out of the tree just leave them there there's no there's no reason to mess with them there's certainly no reason to pay me to come mess with them just leave them alone um and so you know i think we've got a good agreement now with the homeowner she agreed to that and she said uh you know in the future if she ever has to have this tree burned again the tree guys know the bees are here so they'll come up here and just put duct tape on it or uh, staple a screen over the hole real quick do what they got to do and then pull it off and leave so you know that is an option uh for those of you maybe that are out there that have a bee tree and don't know what to do with it talk to your tree guy and just tell them you know hey look get up there real quick on a cool day or at night and uh put a screen over it do the trimming you got to do and then pull that screen off and you know run like hell if you have to but you know again there's no you don't have to pay somebody to come get them out unless the whole tree has to come down in this case they just had to trim the tree and they just had to trim a couple of outer limbs over there so they were a good distance from this knot hole anyway there was no question of you know are we going to get into the bees when we're working over here so you know with that all said and done the bees live to fight another day and i don't know maybe in like five years there'll be a different homeowner here and they won't know this backstory and they'll call me to try again <laughs> but i'll tell them if i show up over here i'll say no 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 i've messed with these before anyway just want to give you guys a little update um you know it sucks to tuck my tail around like this but sometimes you just sometimes it's just not worth it you know so uh we'll let these be and we'll let another there'll be another wild feral colony out here doing their thing